I'm Super T Sigma And this is The Resistance We are here To fight The idea of fighting We're here To go to war Against war No one loses If no one fights You gotta have sight beyond sight Look into the deeper meaning of things Look behind the veil Those numbers Do those numbers That numerology stuff Do it Do it All of those numbers mean something If there's somebody in the world Professing to know something And have an understanding Into letters, numbers, etc That you've never heard before It won't hurt you to learn Don't fall for the spell any longer that tells you that you have to be in a certain box Don't fall for it anymore Break free from the chains That prevent you from expanding There are systems put in place Whether we want to acknowledge them or not And they're designed to keep us stuck On whatever level you consider stuck There's designs for us to be stuck And even in Areas where we are free We can still Fall into a level of complacency if there is more improvement needed and we ignore it. Work on yourself like you had three jobs and had to do overtime for each of them each day. You are the star of your movie. Don't fall for the spell where in the story of your life you're excluded. You are the main character. Don't even make God the main character in the story of your life. Let him be the director. He already finished everything. Everything is put in motion by the supreme being that we call God or those of much higher understanding would call the all. I'm Super T Sigma and this is the resistance. This is the force. This is the antimatter. This is the anti gravity. This is the antithesis to conformity. That's what we are. We're a new breed. And I'm speaking for a future generation because a lot of people in my generation, a lot of us don't get it yet. Not on this level, not on the level where our seeds will be teachers and leaders. We have to step into the information they are going to be presented with now. We have to tap into our intuition, tap into our insight. Brilliant ideas that will define what is later called normal will come from you. Look at what we've done in this generation alone. In the last 20, 30 years or so. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, there was no YouTube. I don't remember YouTube in the 90s. Facebook either. I don't remember those things in the 90s. But out of nowhere, a group of kids that might have graduated in 98 changed the entire world. Google and all of those guys. If they're in their 20s and 30s, then they're 90s babies. 80s or 90s babies, probably. Maybe even older. They may even have some late 70s people as the figureheads, as the genesis of that idea. Either way, a lot of radical things happened in the past 30 years or so. So tap into your insight because the next 30 years will depend on us and the people up under us. Once they are at least the age of 13, where they can think independent, what they call the age of independent reason. When a human being is able to decipher and get a grasp on critical thinking skills as it applies to living. Other cultures train their children to survive. What a lot of us struggle with as adults, they have mastered. We have to tap into a lot of things. We have to tap into a lot of things. And the door that 
will allow us to tap into all of those things is our insight, our intuition, our imagination. You have to come to grips with the idea that there is nothing that is unreal. The biggest lie is that there is something that is unreal. There could be nothing that is unreal. If it can be conceived, even if it can't be conceived, it's still real. You just haven't discovered it yet. Everything that we need is already here. Take your time. Take your time. Stack up those receipts. Celebrate those small victories. Celebrate those small victories. Because time is on your side. Whether you have all the time in the world or no time, time is on your side. That is the record keeper. I'm Super T Sigma. This is the resistance. We talk different. We walk different. We live different. A lot of us are martyrs. But we're coming in the age of persuasion. Convincing. Need I even go as far as to say seduction? You have to be able to have a vibration that is so high that you are immune in other dimensions faced with higher beings. They would almost look at you like an equal, even though you have flesh and blood. That's what we're talking about. But we got to walk slowly. We have to take our time getting there. To lay everything on you now leads to trouble for people like me. We can't get too radical. Not unless we want a war. But this is the resistance. We're not the oppressor. We just resist the opposition. We don't fight them. We don't try to take them down. We don't slander them. We simply resist. Just resist. Whatever is coming up against you to destroy you, if you simply resist it, it'll go away. Even if it comes back another day, it'll go away again. And finally, that thing, that entity, whatever it is, that obstacle that will try to steal your energy and steal your life force, that thing will eventually have to leave after seeing a pattern of being ignored. The only thing you have to pay in this life is attention. If you don't know what you're doing, attention will cost you every dime. If you know what you're doing, attention won't cost you a penny. Pay it though. We die early because we don't pay attention. We mess our lives up because we don't pay attention. We have to pay attention. And how do you do that? Not just by looking at the world around you, but you have to look inside of yourself. Intuition, insight, introspection. To put the specs on the inside. I'm going to let the rain do the rest of the talking. I'm Super T Sigma. And this is the resistance. Definitely.